Hello to everyone, a very warm welcome for tonight's stream. Hey Griso, as always, right on cue. I uh, hope everyone is doing alright. Uh, welcome Ben and welcome the Pirate Gaming Boy. Always really great to uh, see you. Unfortunately the Griso snack bar still did not uh, come to fruition. I, uh, I did try it. Ooh, the camera. A couple of things happened today uh, when I was setting things up. For some reason my camera didn't work uh, and I'm not sure if that is because of the really cheapo dongle I'm using. Everything seems to be connected okay, but uh, eh, it's okay now. But uh, if it cuts out, <laughs> well, then I probably need another uh, dongle. Uh, whatever. So uh, yeah, bit of a uh, trouble with sleeping the last couple of days, but uh, today I had some catching up, which is nice. Um, but unfortunately I've, that, did mean that I had little time to actually work on the video, which is almost done, but hopefully tomorrow, but I just should not say anymore. I'm getting it, buddy. I'm here, take it. <laughs> See your problem now. <laughs> there you go. Thankful as ever, no doubt. <laughs> um and I, I, I think I do have another idea for the uh, the progress bar for Griso to make that work. I will have another try at it uh, somewhere this week. Um, but oh well, it's it's not a big priority for now. I think the, I think what I want to do is because I can make it work, but I can't make it work in the way I want it to on specific times, for example, with a timer where. Um, I can't make it work where it actually checks to see if one has already been uh, triggered. That is my issue. Uh, but I think I have another idea to um, just, you know, couple that to another global uh, thing it can check and then it should work. I think, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, what other things? Of course, we're going to do some uh, Commodore 64 tape testing. I am very sorry, the Pirate Game Boy I had uh, the old description up. Something else I'm actually trying this time is streaming directly to YouTube and Twitch myself and cut out restream in there. So I hope that goes well. Um, but that came, that does come with a couple of new uh, caveats in how I set things up. So everything was all wrong on YouTube side. Like the stream was actually set for. Uh, 12th of April uh, <laughs> and it also had the old description so we are not actually going to play uh, Contra on Commodore 64 because we did that last time uh, unfortunately it was a decent game uh, hey there Teo always great to have you as well so for today we are going to play something that we did discuss last time as well briefly the live ammo pack from Ocean uh, which does have a double in it, I think. Yeah, Green Beret, we have played that before. Um, but it's, uh, it's a fun game, so I don't mind that one. And there is Top Gun in here. Uh, and there is The Great Escape, I think, yeah. Which I'm not a big fan of. I mean, it's, it's a good game. And there is some Rambo. Uh, what's this last one? I don't actually know. Army moves. I don't uh, don't remember that one. And if we go through this one, I have another couple of boxes here. Uh, some other things. Uh, because I got something in the mail here, so might as well open that up real quick here, like a nice uh, small parcel. Because uh, uh, I was looking for new uh, Wii U games, or well, new to me at least. And. I have no clue if this is any good, but I saw it and I saw people were asking, or not asking, they are willing to pay like 25 uh, euros for it and I saw it and I said, ah, I'll take it for 15 and she was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I, I bought some uh, some very crappy edition version of something of, uh, or uh, I just looked out and that is uh, Paper Mario Color Splash and I don't know how good this game is. 
Um, from the games I have played in the series, I do like the Paper Mario games. Uh, although I have not actually completed many of them. And yeah, this, this looks in uh, rather good condition. A bit dirty. One smudge on there. But yeah, gonna look forward to trying this out and uh, play it. Uh, again, I have no clue if this one is any good. But uh, it's, a, it's a Paper Mario game. How, how bad can it be, huh? Uh, another new addition that, well, it's not a new addition, but it's actually something that I uh, found uh, Which I figured might come in handy for these streams and that's uh, in this box over here Now I did put it somewhere down in a box for a reason I imagine um, But we'll see because I read a lot of the things from the tapes with my phone now With this thing I don't have to because this thing can do it as well um, which is kind of nifty. Should have cleaned that beforehand. <laughs> Haven't used it in years, so I also don't know. I did charge it, but I don't know how well the battery will hold. Um, but yeah, this is like it has a small camera here on the on the back here, and you can even place it. Yeah, like so, so you can use it over the paper. Um, but you know, you can also hold it to uh, enlarge some text. Now one issue is that it has pretty bright LEDs on the back so uh, and I don't think you can actually turn that off so you know if there's something like a CD case it will glare but as you can see it's just a uh, small little viewfinder with some enlargement um, Although this is kind of cool because um, uh, anyone who knows anything about poor vision the contrast can make a huge difference and this actually has a few different contrast modes to make text more readable. There we did it again, it did cut out again. So I'm going to try and see if that is uh, handy for me. Might be, I don't know. And for the beer today we uh, went to an old faithful here, uh, the Icelandic Einstock beer. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Uh, Really refreshing beer to the point that I might actually need to <laughs> go and out and buy a whole, a whole uh, case of the stuff actually, which is going to be really expensive. Hmm. Yeah, but it's um, I don't know. It's it's one of the beers that I've liked the most from the ones we've tried. Uh, anyway, what's why didn't you eat your thing, Griso? What the heck? It's. Uh, Do you need to be fed? So unlike him to not eat it. Although yesterday he did have a nice uh, uh, can of meat. That usually uh, goes in really really well. Makes him very content. No, he doesn't want them. Well, maybe later. You can get them when, <laughs> when you want, buddy. We are actually going to uh, the Commodore screen, I think. And... Uh, that's the wrong button, Seb. That's uh, here we go. Is the stream working? Did it work, Ben, on both sides? I don't know. I don't know. YouTube is just weird. Sometimes refreshing YouTube does work wonders. Sometimes uh, just weird for being weird. I don't know. Uh, let's remove the dust cover and turn it on and see if it actually works again. Which would be uh, preferred, of course. It does. How oh, nice. It's kind of, not sure if you can see it well, but this, this Commodore 64 is actually in pretty good shape. Like there's no yellowing at all either. So it's uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So as stated, we are going through the uh, live ammo box first. Uh, Commodore cassette. Uh, uh, how many cassettes is this even? You're not getting sick, huh, Griso? Because if you don't like treats, then, then I don't know, man. It uh, doesn't, doesn't sound healthy for you. Can you please come out? Don't you love these boxes? There we go. <laughs> Hasn't been used in a while, I guess. Um, because we also want to read the uh, back blurbs, of course, if we can. Seems to be on two tapes, so let's just start with the top one, which is 
uh, Green Beret and uh, Top Gun and Rambo on the other side. Huh, okay, so this one has three games already. Uh, I vaguely remember uh, Top Gun being more impressive than, than actually good. <laughs> But let's uh, let's uh, go for uh, green beret first. I hope you never know in these things. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's refresh our memory here and see what the bag says. Yeah, there's a lot of glare. That's uh, that's not great. Uh, that's Top Gun, Green Beret. Rescue the captives. You are the Green Beret, a mighty trained combat machine. Uh, found no peripherals. That's uh. That doesn't sound like Brigham Green Beret. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, maybe someone taped over this. I don't know. Um, because I don't think this is one of our original tapes from back in the day. A highly trained combat uh, machine. Your mission. Infiltrate all four enemy uh, strategic at least it's loading, that's good. Uh, installations. You are alone uh, against unamountable odds. Uh, have the skill. Do you have this? This thing is really hard to read because it has like a wood grainy effect that goes through the letters. So I, I just cannot read that. Uh, hey there, the Pirate Gamer Boy. No problem, no problem. I was just explaining that uh, I am sorry because uh, uh, you were commenting on Contra on CD or uh, CDI <laughs> uh, on uh, Commodore 64. That was actually a game we played the last time. I just the comment or not the comment, the description was not updated. But yeah, it does indeed look like Green Beret, another Konami classic at least. And on Commodore 64, uh, Contra is actually, uh, yeah, can you imagine CDI Contra? <laughs> that would be bad. Um, on Commodore 64, Contra is actually called Grizor, which uh, which you like, huh? It's almost uh, it's almost your name. <laughs> That would be awesome. Uh, is there anything like that on CDI? I'm thinking now. Do we have? Do we have even? We don't actually have any run gun shooters on CDI, do we? No, I can't really think of anything that comes even remotely close. I don't remember Green Beret having this music. I thought it had a different uh, ocean loader. Interesting. Yeah, look a look, kind of. Yeah, that's that's true. Look a look, man. That game is hard. Yeah, you do. And uh, it, it's it's ironically one of, one of the games that parents probably wouldn't want to serve their kids back in the day because uh, good old Luke just goes uh, damn damn all the time every time he gets hit, <laughs> which is a lot. <laughs> and of course, uh, the guys also had to focus on the ladies. Every every level that loads has uh, Lucky Luke playing the piano, and then the spotlight goes to the uh, saloon ladies. <laughs> uh, there was a manual, right? Where was the manual? Where the, the manual? Are you sitting on top of it? Uh, what's this? Oh, this the loading instructions? We don't need loading instructions, man. Come on, look, look at it. We're already there. Almost. 
Green Beret, five levels, huh? I've, I don't think I've ever beaten the first level on Commodore. Oh, is there? Oh. Man, I'll, I'll need to make a video about it then, because uh, that, <laughs> that Nudality video is the only one that uh, keeps my channel alive, I think. <laughs> uh, the game, Rescue the Captives. Yeah, I should have just read it from here. Because it has the same story blurb. Controls, yeah, 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 control with the joystick. Uh, and I do think this is one where the big toe uses the extra big gun as you pick it up with the space bar so uh you'll just make do without the uh, flamethrowers and the uh, rocket launches and such anything else we need to know about the tape is uh, struggling a bit Is that first level actually called Red Alert? It's kinda... Uh, never knew that. But we're here. Uh, let's hope we're in the good. Slot here. It's kinda weird. It's so... It's made by... Imagine, but it is in a ocean box. Yeah, classic music is. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think on the NES it's Russian attack. I'm not sure in the... Oh yeah, I don't have a gun, huh? There's the flame. No, okay, here we go again with the, with the accidental ups. And a late response time. Yeah, this game is uh, is pretty tough. And the white dudes, uh, they do... It is a, it, this is a very good uh, version of this game. Uh, I'm just really terrible at, at it. And uh, you really need to get the, on the grips with the joystick. Just checking, because I think... Where's my... Ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, there's no de-interlacing going on there. Okay, this should maybe look a bit better now, I hope. Good luck taking care of that, Ben. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the Atari 800 is, uh, is, is, is rarely mentioned nowadays. It's kind of a, uh, a real underdog, so that's pretty cool still. Do we have the uh, XE or XL? Uh-oh. <laughs> The contact damage is just the, the, the worst in this game. Um, because you have to be so quick and yeah, if they walk um, in line like that, see like where's two or three strobites right on top of each other, it's real difficult to deal with it. Yeah, I uh, I think the 800 is cool as, as well. Uh, and and f I think some games are just better on that than on the uh, Commodore 64 even. Um, like Arkanoid has a really good version on the 800. Crap. Uh, and I'm not an expert on the 800 myself. I do have one somewhere. Really need to check that out sometime again as well. Because it is uh, it's, uh, just such an underdog. Ah, dang. 
Uh, I'll well, need to see some more pictures again because it's been a while. I, I'm only familiar with the... Uh, I think mine is an XE. Which, uh, which does look really standard home computer -y from that time. I do like the look of the, the um, cassette deck that came with it though. Would be nice if once, for once, I can actually <laughs> uh, finish a level here. Ah, the bastards shot me. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to keep track of uh, of that with the uh, Atari 8-bitter, that there are some versions on it and the later ones. You know, they are the safest to use because they just can use most software and especially in the earlier ones you may run into some incompatibility with the uh, the older speeds. I'm not sure how many extra chips there actually were added. Alright, let's, uh, let's try it again. At least I'm not jumping as much without intending to. Yeah, and that power up we, you can use, but you need to use it with the spacebar, which uh, is a bit too far off now. Oh no! I did not intend to duck there. <laughs> Uh, like which ones? Are they are are they actual ports for the uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred? I mistimed that completely. Yeah, this is such a game that um, on the NES is made much much easier just because of having a joypad and a dedicated uh, jump button. Uh, I think the NES has a dedicated jump button, right? It's been a while since I uh, tried out Russian Attack. But when it comes to looks, uh, I think I actually prefer this version over the NES version. I heard that shot too late. And also the music is awesome, even though I don't uh, get to hear it much. <laughs> oh, I thought it was only one. Yeah, but most of those games were uh, arcade originals, weren't they? Man, Beam Rider is also it has an amazing version on the Commodore 64 as well. And I'm actually not sure if I have it. I know I played it a bunch, but I think it was actually a game that... What? Well, bullet? I think it was actually a game from my uncle? Really? It's a uh, Beam Rider, not an arcade game. Ah, crap. I love that game though. It's uh, it's 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 really cool. Pitfall 2 also an amazing game. We uh, we played that. Uh, didn't finish it because it's quite difficult as well. Well, I mean you can brute force your way through Pitfall 2, I suppose, because you kind of have infinite lives. Uh, quite unique in that regard. For that time, uh, you know, in, in, in mul multiple ways. I mean, music on the. Uh, the old 2600, didn't see that a whole lot. I think there was actually a, 
I heard it's late again. Got shot in the bum. Uh, a dedicated chip for the music. No. Oh, you can also jump over them. I did not know. Uh, th those are mines. <laughs> I should have gone up the ladder. Alright, one more try. Oh, that went real, real... festive for my high score, I suppose. <laughs> And it works well. Oh crap. I, I, yeah, always Wouter, always. Welcome to the stream, man. How are you? <laughs> I choose very much death. I was hoping I would be able to complete this first level at least once, but no. Need so much practice in getting the timing r right. And not do that. <laughs> Welcome back, Ben! I did say only one more try, right? Mm -hmm. I, I suppose we should move on to uh, the next game. This one works, however. Uh, the cassette set side 2, correct? Yes. I don't have navy seals, I don't think. Uh, so I will need to uh, I will need to hunt that one down. Do I have navy seals? I don't know, but uh, we can do that via the uh, the SD card at some point as well. Uh, well, we are playing right now through this box over here. Uh, live ammo from Ocean uh, and and thank you by the way for the suggestion very much appreciate it uh, so we have more things to go through after we are uh, uh, done with the current bunch all right let's see if it can find Yeah, <laughs> Ocean is a good guess when it comes to uh, Commodore 64 <laughs> in general, I suppose. <laughs> they had a lot, a lot of games. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, is Navy Seals, is that the one where you do the uh, the sniping bit first? And uh, and have the part where you have to avoid the, uh, the searchlights? Oh, then I was thinking of something else. I will need to look that up. Uh, Top Gun, yay. <laughs> I remember Top Gun being very impressed by it from a technical standpoint, uh, but not not very fun to play. <laughs> oh no, that sounds totally different what I was thinking of. I was... What was I thinking of? Something something Embassy, I think, then. Uh, I don't remember. It's also on the NES. And also on the Commodore 64. Yeah, some classic... Uh, loaded tunes, nice. Love those. Um, ben, what uh, uh, what version of Green Beret are you referring to with um, with achievements? Was that an updated version? Like uh, what they did with, uh, for example, as well, uh, Bionic Commando rearmed.
yeah, it's always nice to see some uh, some games getting some love. If, at least if they don't butcher them too much in the progress. Because sometimes they do a remake and then you don't really recognize the old game anymore. <laughs> um, which game is this, Token? Where are you? Oh yeah, we will get to the Great Escape. Not a fan of that game. I mean, it's it's a cool kind of strategy game uh, or simulation game. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. Wait, where's? Oh, it's at the bottom here. Bionic Commando is also such a, a odd little game. Like the, the how much the versions differ from each other. Um, you know, the NES version, completely different than the uh, arcade version. It is loading, right? We don't have to do anything right so far, right? Right? No, it is still loading, I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> patience, uh, patience. <laughs> I have yet to see the um, uh, the the new Maverick uh, film. Actually, I hear it's pretty good. I hear it's pretty pretty good. Uh, I'm doing okay, Ben. Uh, had some some good sleep today. Not the night, but today. <laughs> uh, Top Gun game puts you in the pilot seat of an F-14 jet fighter. 3D vector graphics and split screen. Display allow one or two players to combat head to head or against the computer. Your armaments in this nerf uh, ling, nerf tingling, there we go. Uh, aerial duo are heat seeking missiles and 20 mm rapid fire cannon. Cannon fire, huh? twice fire, oh rapid fire cannon, all right, man me and reading huh, many skills have to be, many skills have to be brought to play such as reflexes, don't have those, maneuvering ability, don't have those, and accuracy, certainly don't have those, to become the best of the best, top gun ma mavericks, enter the danger zone. Nice references there to the movie. Yeah, I need to check out the new movie. I was also thinking... I was also thinking uh, of, of doing on the Discord server sometime uh, a, a little movie night now and then with some old uh, video, VCDs or DVDs uh, that I have lying around. Uh, one of which is Top Gun because every CDI collection has about 20 of those. <laughs> Uh, anyway, how do we play this? Um, because what, what impressed me most about this game was that it's just two players. Uh, or you have the ability for two players. Should I just press one? Level one. Press five. I, I did press one, right? But uh, it it's slow and... Yeah, it's uh, this is the graphics. It's, it's very wireframey and... Oh dear, I am not steering at all. Yep, I am in the wrong port. Which makes sense if it's a two-player game, then usually port one uh, is used for play one, I suppose. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Oh, there we go. But yeah, it's uh, it's just confusing, and especially if you play with two players, the moment someone... Oh, we're, we're about that. It's 
it's just very hard to read the radar at all and uh, if you lose each other then good luck finding you uh, each other um, it's kind of interesting because on the NES you had Top Gun which is nothing like this but then they had Top Gun 2 the second game and that kind of has a mode like this Uh, yeah, it, those movie license, I actually don't know. Mm, probably not that much, I think, actually. And with that much, I guess, like, maybe 10 guilders back then, which was a good bit of change for sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I remember not liking this game at all as a kid as well. I mean, I, I find it impressive how they do this and that it's able to be played with two players. But it's just not fun. Most of the time the first one who um, has the other in, the, in their little sights, uh, that's the winner. And... Uh, the PC is the, the CPU is pretty uh, uh, merciless here. Uh, although it is possible, I know it's possible. <laughs> I'm also not sure if you can like crash in the ground. Even I think you're just flying in in the void. How is he still hitting me? What? Or did I just fly into the ground? I mean. Leave it to Seb to find out the hard way. <laughs> or oh, you shot a missile, that's of course also possible. That's, I guess space? No, I don't know. That's the part in the manual that you probably need to read. Yeah, technically impressive. Like, it also is pretty fast here, you know, it's it's not slow. It's pretty responsive. Uh, but I'm crap at it. Ah, is that, yeah, that, that might make sense. There's also a bunch of bars at, uh, at the bottom. Uh, one probably for ammo, one for more energy. Kind of a weird way of thinking with planes. Yeah, it's especially slow. <laughs> Still, it works, you know. Um, excuse me? Oh, there. Yeah, wrong button. But yeah, that's one of those games that you just put on the Commodore 64. Like, yeah, it's possible, but why would you even want to try those things? Um, we'll look uh, at another game some other time called Driller. That's also one of those... Stupidly impressive games, but uh, with you just it, it moves like one frame per second. It's just not not fun Oh, yeah, I can imagine oh I guess We missed the Uh, yeah, at least another one of those games. Like it, it works fine on the Commodore 64, but it it, it gets so slow that it's really hard to keep invested in it. I have no clue where our game is. Apparently, Top Gun did not stop the cassette, so it just went on going. Actually, I should just wind it to the beginning and then wind it forward a bit. Otherwise, we might now just miss it, and that would be bad. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Wouter, does the super CPU, if you have that, you know, all two people who can find that thing, uh, but does that also help in the frame rate with those older games that you know of? Oh no, I should not do that. Now I need to. Hey there, Pathé. How are you, man? Uh, well, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, my parents were over yesterday for some dinner. It was, uh, was fun. And I actually got some sleep in. Uh, took a while. But uh, that does mean that today I feel pretty good. Just a bit ashamed that again the videos that I wanted to have finished didn't actually get finished. Yeah, <laughs> could be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm just curious about the super CPU, but it's not like I will find one of those uh, anytime soon. <laughs> Or if I do find one that I want to splash out the amount of money that's required on it. But it would be cool to uh, to play around with one of those things. So that's also... Uh, that, that is... the ultimate uh, is, is much more affordable. So that might be the best route then. Yeah, you're right Ben. Uh, you know, I kind of can get annoyed because I did say that I wanted to have it on uh, Saturday, uh, but whatever. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. I, I I'm <laughs> just should not set deadlines for myself. <laughs> that just turns into disappointment. Uh, also notice that I need actually to record still a few parts for that uh, game. That... Uh, I did not have a ready, <laughs> but oh well. And I also really would like tomorrow or maybe Tuesday or both to really start working more on the collection again. You don't like beer. Did you did you eat your things here? No, you still have some. Yeah, for some reason these are uh, these are not good for him now. Which I'm curious, maybe they've just gone bad? <laughs> well, yeah, but can you blame him? Commodore 64 is a cool machine. It, um, it, it recently got a new uh, OS release for the Commodore 64 as well, right? Which is pretty cool to see you still see people really um, invested in a platform even after all those years. Let's give Feliz another treat. Uh, I can't change the screen though because I do want to see when we catch our game, which is not really seeming to happen. Oh yeah, I've destroyed this baby. Hey buddy. Also not okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely sick. <laughs> Cause this is uh, this is not normal for him. Okay, what have you been stealing this time? Maybe he's just uh, he just wants the cuddles. I don't know. Oh wait, there's still. No, he did. He did eat it. He tried it. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe he has uh, something in his teeth or something that uh, that hurts. I don't know. We'll check it out. I mean, one day without food won't kill you. Apart from the mood. But uh, good to keep track of. Uh, which game was this again? I forgot already. Oh, there we go. Oh, Rambo. 
And was Rambo good on the C64? I don't remember. I do think I have played it occasionally. Just don't remember. Is this a kinda Ikari Warriors kinda game? Ikari Warriors Commando, that kinda game. Yeah, talk about confusing uh, names, right? Rambo, Third Blood Part 2. <laughs> and then you just get Rambo 3 and then it's it's a, it's a mess. Thank you so much for the sub. I think that's what it said. Griso is in front of the uh, uh, screen there. Uh... <laughs> it's... Uh, Wait, what? Official. Oh, okay, it does. Uh, that's weird. Normally it just does the story blur, but now it does throws all the copyrights for the movie out of the way. Okay. You are John Rambo, a highly trained jungle fighter whose instructions are to gain entry to POW, Prisoners of War uh, Camp. And photograph evidence of American war prisoners. But having found them, will you con uh, will your conscience let you walk away? Of course not. We're Rambo. Gonna shoot up the place. The game requires joystick controls, and combos movement is determined by the direction in which the joystick is pushed. The fire button activates any weapon system. Yeah, wait, are we uh, are we talking about Rambo still? <laughs> uh, yeah, most most likely. Uh, should have done that before to. Make sure there are no issues when uh, uh, things have loaded, but eh. The game takes place in a, approximately 1 million squares, square feet. That's uh, to scale, okay. <laughs> the jungle, the jungle featuring the POW camp, a secret temple and many different types of terrain. Colonel Troutman, your CO, commanding officer, has given you very specific, precise orders. Find the POW camp, photograph the evidence using the automatic camera, which is part of your standard equipment, and then make your way north to the extraction point where the helicopter awaits you. You will then be automatically flown back to safety, uh, to the safety of your base in Thailand. Your orders are specific. Do not engage the enemy. Do not attempt to <laughs> rescue. However, when you arrive at the POW camp and see your former comrades banks tied to a bamboo cross in the compound, you know that another scenario will unfold. One in which you are the hero. You must decide, ignoring your CO and using a and using the knife, you cut your body free. Now there is no returning back. You have alerted the camp guards, taking banks with you. Your battle You better your way north towards the helicopter in an attempt to get transport to free all of the POWs. Uh, and there is a bit more, but we're done loading. So let's see if we can find a, uh, a, a camp and a helicopter in one million square mil uh, kilometers. Or no, what was it? Mile? I don't know. I remember. And <laughs> it's probably not as big as they wanted it to be. Oh, I actually need to... No, it still works in this controller port. 
All right, so uh, so where are we at? I guess that's the temple thing. Some jungle too, by the way. It looks more like a desert here. So now we got the machine gun, but how do we equip that? Ah, with the space bar. Oh, oh, oh boy. Well, that didn't last very long. Wow, it's hard to aim. Or the, the, the guys, they just move really fast. Say. Yeah, but you can uh, walk in four directions in this one. Which seems to be the biggest difference uh, compared to Commando. I guess we should. What are those things? I don't know. What was that? Man. Must be the camp. Where's the, where's the entrance? Oh, you can shoot through the walls. Ah, stray bullet. Man. We actually made it to the camp at least. It was... Uh, it plays okay. Trooper. Is that like supposed to be a helmet? Uh, don't care. <laughs> yeah, let's... let's very carefully approach the camp so we don't alert him, huh? Everything seems to be out in force and <laughs> still running around like chickens without a head. I mean, in that regard, uh, Commando is much harder because you have less room to maneuver. Also, one hit is death there. Here you can at least take a few hits. Not many, but <laughs> but a few. Uh, let's also see what these things are. It doesn't do anything else. And this thing? Nope. Not even sure if the machine gun is even more potent than the knife because the knife already kills everything in one hit apparently. Although this sprays a bit more bullets I guess. Let's, uh, let's go the other way, maybe there's an entrance here as well. Yes, there is, but it's blocked. <laughs> Come on, man! You can you can walk past there. Man, it's tough, but it it, it does feel doable. I'm 
with uh, with enough practice. It's weird. You have to input your name before you actually start to play. But I uh, apparently I, I I press it too fast. Uh, and yeah, no death animation. That didn't even notice that. But good catch there, Wouter. That is indeed uh, missing here. Uh, did I miss? Yeah, I mi I, I missed the uh, <laughs> the machine gun altogether. Oh well. Oh, there's our uh, POW. Oh, don't tell me I have to go all the way back. Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Perhaps... Uh, approaching from the right is a bit easier because it, uh, it it seemed a bit more open there got stuck on the terrain that sucked <laughs> uh, I hope the stream works well now that I'm streaming to the platforms directly not sure if it's an improvement but uh, from my end it doesn't seem to make much of a difference for me so if it's this works well as well, uh, I can keep doing that and cut out restream altogether. That would be nice. Oh, invisible wall. Okay, so this this game does not let you move in four directions. You will hit an invisible wall. That's weird. Uh, works fine. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. That uh, that's good to hear. Uh, because it it, <laughs> it was a bit scary to just go because I didn't test it beforehand. It was just like, well, I don't have time to test it, so might as well just go with it. But it always, of course, runs the risk that it uh, completely fails. <laughs> And I can also now dictate two different bit rates. Um, although, you know, that doesn't sound like a smart idea. Uh, stuck again. Uh, because, you know, if I would say, ah, Twitch, you can go to 6K, but YouTube, you can, uh, you can have... Uh, easily reach 10k uh, which for retro games should not even matter much but whatever uh, but technically i could do that now but then you also need to encode it twice so that doesn't sound like a very smart thing to do currently it's set at uh, 7000 kilobits and if I go any higher, then Twitch will have a fit. And again, for retro games, shouldn't matter too much. Where's that dude? He was, he was here, right? Oh, now we have the grenades. Cool. But where's my buddy? Oh, there he is. Now get the hell out of dodge here. And I got hit again. I didn't even see that bullet. Uh, but yeah, pretty decent game. Not the best. I mean, I would still prefer a Gaunt or a Commando over this one. But this, uh, this, this works okay. If you don't fill in your name, and they do give you the hearts. <laughs> Cute.
I think I saw Electric Adventures play this recently on the MSX. Or recent, like two months ago. Which, uh, you know, still kind of recent, right? Next up we have... what comes first? The Great Escape comes first. I f yeah, that's what I've, I'm, t I'm kind of thinking about now, I d because I think it actually did. But it's not very typical for the uh, MSX. So I'm kind of going through my head now, like, did I maybe just confuse Electric Adventures playing that game and then that someone else has around that time been playing the uh, Commodore version that I see now. Although I also remember it being more green, like a jungle, not as a, that's just uh, such a desert scape as this was. Uh, the Great Escape. Let's uh, let's read this one. I. This is one of the games that I. You know, technically speaking, it's probably an amazing game, but I just had no clue what I was doing as a kid, and I probably still don't. <laughs> And it has a uh, rather unique design choice in being intentionally black and white, which is uh, kind of interesting uh, for that time. Not many games did that. Oh, I'm getting my phone. I had my special loop thing here, which does work pretty well, actually. Although I would have liked it to, to be also better handleable, is that a word? To handle it in the left hand, but oh well. Can't have it all. Uh, where are we? The year is 1942. The place, Germany. War has broken out, and you have been captured and placed in high-security POW camp. Victory may be far away, so it is your duty to escape. But this will not be easy. It will take careful planning and much patience, cum uh, culminating, culminating in a skilled and resourceful implementation uh, in the camp you are closely guarded, but while you follow the daily routine, you will need to slip away unnoticed to recon... Uh, huh? Recon... I, 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 I do not know that word. Uh, but to uh, scope out the situation, let's just say that. <laughs> uh, and collect tools and materials necessary for your chosen escape route. There are many different uh, ways of escape. So, some difficult, all certainly dangerous, and each one requiring different skills and equipment. So this is, um, like we fairly recently have some indie games that kind of had the same concept, didn't they? Uh, and that's, I think this is basically the first game that tried that. Camp geography and possible escape routes. The camp is a small converted castle on April. Uh, promontory, promontory surrounded by three sides of by cliffs and the cold North Sea. Official entry entry in the camp is by a narrow roar uh, through the gatehouse and all traffic must carry papers authorizing their passage. Everywhere the camp has been closed by either fences or walls and dogs are deployed to patrol the perimeter. These areas are watched by men from their observation towers and there are very few blind spots. At night, powerful searchlights comb the walls looking for any sign of movement. 
The prisoners are housed in prefabricated huts within the castle ground. Just to the other side, a quadrangle that is used to roll calls and recreational purposes. In line with the Geneva Convention, yeah, because they really cared about those back then. <laughs> the prisoners must uh, have exercise. So an extra has been provided and this is conveniently situated on the island uh, side, allowing close up inspection of the sovereign fences. All right, let's just see what, uh, what happens. How quickly we can get our self murdered. Uh, and yeah, you've got a morale meter. The more mistakes you make, the, land, the more it... Uh, um, will deplete. And... There's also a score, I'm not sure. I get the score, but the Red Cross. Okay, so there's the doctors, I guess. Like there is the bell, and at certain intervals, you also need to do stuff. Uh, Morel just turned red, so maybe we are not supposed to be in there. And if you don't do the things they want, you know, you, you go... Roll call, so now we need to go to the roll call. And if you don't, then they get suspicious and you get... Uh, locked up maybe, in solitary, and that drops moral. I don't know, it's, it's super... You really need to play this a lot to... get good at it I guess. Hey there Similarian, how are you today? Welcome, welcome to the stream. See, so yeah, I, I, I don't think we shall be playing this for a whole lot of time. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. Had a nice uh, bit of sleep today, which is uh, always great. Uh, but now I'm playing a game I have no clue how to actually do. This is, this is really one of those games you need to do so many times to figure out where everything is. Miss Roll Call. Yeah, okay, but I did not know. I thought it was there. So now the Popo comes maybe to, uh, to make us pay. See the error of our ways. Breakfast time? Oh my. Oh my, where's, where's breakfast? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if the official, the first release of this game actually came with a map. The door is locked. Mm, don't you just hate that. I'm not even next to a door. Yeah. Um, I think we should just go for the next game, because I'm not gonna get anywhere in here. <laughs> Camera, why are you keep cutting out? Stop scaring me like that. Uh, yeah, let's just... Uh, this one of these works. I like how it's uh, pers purposefully uh, black and white. It's kind of neat. It's kind of a unique thing. But other than that... Uh, that, that could just be the, the case because it's a port from the ZX Spectrum version, by the way. Which I'm pretty sure has it as well. Which might actually play better. Because this played pretty slow. And the spec here is just better suited for these kind of graphics. 
next game, which will be the final game for this pack, and then we need to head over for another one. And this game I actually don't remember. So uh, that could be interesting. Although it could also mean that it was not worth remembering, right? <laughs> Uh, so which one was this? Which one was this? Army moves. Yeah, I don't remember the name. Uh, let's see what the thing says. And get more of Seb's grubby reading skills. No intro? No intro. Hmm. Here we go, somewhere halfway in the uh, instructions. You are a member of the SOC, Special Operations Corps, a crack regiment of specialist commandos picked for the most dangerous missions, locked in a safe uh, at the enemy headquarters is information. Information so vital that the turning point of the conflict depends upon its discovery. To get to the headquarters means crossing jungles and deserts, manipulating many forms of transportation and harnessing a variety of weapons. Uh, I don't know, what, what are you hearing for background noise? Because I only see my microphone level doing something right now. Let's see. Could be just my uh, my my PC uh, PC's fan. Uh, let me see if I can listen in as well. Should be right. Like now. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that is the PC fan cutting in and out, uh, and that is because there is a limiter on there. So I think what's happening is that it's just around the threshold of it. So it it uh, continuously cuts in and out. It's kind of annoying, uh, for sure. Uh, let me see. I should be able to. fine-tune that for a bit right ah here we are microphone filters um, um then i should just need to be careful that i don't cut out my own voice if i'm more quiet uh, Let's see if this does the trick. Well, a bit, kinda, but uh, I think now the, the cassette deck is actually uh, getting picked up. Yeah, I don't want to, uh, to push the expander too much further, otherwise... If I whisper, it won't be cut. And now I should not whisper much, but uh, if I mumble something, <laughs> you know, it should be in there as well. Yeah, and the creaking sound is from the tape. So is this like a jackal, maybe? The game is divided into seven sections, each of which must be completed uh, to progress to the next one. Makes sense. Finally, to the enemy headquarters itself, 
and the vital plants which must be located. I'm not sure if we're actually loading because this, this screen does not look promising. Uh, so stage one is reach the enemy helicopter base with your missile equipped jack, uh, jeep. Transport lorries will try to block your way. Uh, yeah, so that kind of sounds like uh, Jekyll. Uh, but then it will go into helicopter mode, so that's not like Jekyll at all. <laughs> uh, whilst this is loading, I actually uh, need to take a bit of a restroom break, so I will be right back. Let me just set the other screen up so that there is actually some uh, some music. Would be nicer. Alright, I'm back and uh, yeah, this game doesn't seem to want to load so we're going to uh, try it again, give it one more try and if it doesn't work it goes to the same screen then uh, we're just gonna give it up. Uh, and yeah, one of those games in there is indeed Gyrus, uh, good catch. <laughs> I, uh, I really need to add some more to that uh, that set because they repeat a bit too quickly already. Uh. But take some time to uh, get the, uh, some of those game captures. Yeah, I don't know what uh, what's up with you today, Grizo. Normally you're all about the food, but today. Uh do you have a toothache or something? I don't know. I don't know. Just not like you. Trying to rewind it a bit, back and forth. Sometimes it 
helps a bit with the uh, magnetic charge. Well, can't really call it a charge. Can you? And it was also creaking a lot, so maybe just not making very good contact or something. Although the other side worked uh, good, so one would imagine that... Uh, it's not like we have anything to do with the shape of the tape. Boy, you are clingy today, Griso. Look at all the nice... Well, did you eat some? No. Weren't it? No? You silly cat. Alright, this, uh, this looks more promising now. Huh? Because we didn't have this uh, last time. Hopefully it works. Yeah, so, so are the tape loading now and then in uh, Commodore 64. Sometimes it just craps out. And we even have music. Yeah, so it was really bad before. But now it works. Yeah, cats are a continuous uh, mystery indeed. Good evening, Dave. How, uh, how are you? Was it? I, I actually don't remember this game at all, so... Even the title screen now kind of reminds me of uh, Jackal with the Jeep. <laughs> and uh, indeed, cats can be very moody. Especially when uh, things don't go their way. Well, I uh, was near the kitchen anyway. I did grab myself another beer because the other one was empty already. That, that's a, the thing with loading games on, on C64. You have way too much time to drink. <laughs> the, guy, the guy driving looks like a tunip. <laughs> Ah, that's cool. I won't complain. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. What game was that? <laughs> we were just uh, earlier talk about uh, on CDI and uh, uh, the dudes who made uh, The Apprentice. Um, which, you know, had the nudalities in there, but they also made Lukey Luke, and there's also some things that are just a bit um, less suitable for kids, let's just say, giving a bit of the wrong messages. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fun times. Back then we could uh, we could do that. Hey there, Trampelskrat, how are you? And indeed, Load, press play, and then go out and uh, get some food or something, because these tapes, they can uh, take easily 10 minutes, some. Uh, and if you're really unlucky, you play for, for two minutes and then you get to load again. I am still super, super surprised how well these tapes still hold up, how they even manage to load. Um, you know, you would imagine that after, uh, phew, what is it, like 30 to 40 years, they stopped, stopped uh, breaking. Uh, and that's very true, uh, Wouter. It They do give you a, um, a bit of a break from frustration of not getting very far. <laughs> Don't get stuck now. 
Crazy, what are you doing? Oh, please don't don't get stuck now. You were almost there, man. Now that's a good suggestion actually. Let's uh, let's try that. Ah, it really looks to be stuck. Although it has to of course let's try it a bit further back. Was before I actually hit stop. Uh. Man, it really look promising now. Let's uh, let's give it one more try. Kind of explains why how I don't uh, remember this game if it didn't work. <laughs> Let's uh, give that area a bit more winding. Hopefully, I mean, it did okay. For the first part. Should we blow on it? <laughs> and if it messes up again, we will move on to the next box. What is that? That is not a box from me. Not sure what Griso destroyed now, but something went down. Uh, but yeah, after this we have more battle stations. Which is not a pack that I owned, so... These might all be new games for me? But doesn't say anything on the back. <laughs> it's kinda atypical, but yeah, that's, uh, that's our next box. What you do? Hmm, I don't know. Something fell. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't want to to mess with the the heads of the tape recorder. Uh, as you say, like it might make one work and then the rest not. <laughs> Army moves so far, so good. What are you doing, Griso? Nope, this one is just not having any of it. Unfortunately, maybe this one needs to just be uh, restored. Yeah. And once you once you put it in there, then it will be a headache for the years to come. <laughs> it is so precise. And uh, most games work now, so you know I'm not gonna fuss about with that. Um, if it just doesn't load, then uh, well, we just need to record it again, I guess. Uh, the Hobby Lodge, nope, it's not working. Well... The Hobby Lodge had a, a nice video recently where you where he showed you how to uh, um, properly re-record these uh, via a little dongle to your PC on the dataset, which I never thought even existed, but uh, apparently it does, of course. Uh, so, you know, that, that's nice, so you can still kind of recover these tapes, just uh, record a new top file to it and then it should work why are not oh for some reason it doesn't even want to fit in the box now that's uh, that's great can't even can't even figure that puzzle out well that's for later <laughs> next game 
so uh, this this box apparently has three um, three games here. I don't know what this one is. Can't read that. That's Typhoon, which was an arcade game. Did we played this one last time too? Didn't we? Am I this forgetful? Because I think we played Typhoon. Oh, that and that is. Did we play these? Typhoon, Gorilla War, Operation Wolf. Yeah, we played this last time already. My brain is just such a mess at times. So uh, let's get rid of that. Let's just go for uh, Afterburner. It should. We didn't play this, right? Afterburner. I mean, look at those amazing graphics, guys. Can the Commodore 64 build? Of course it can't. The uh, Amiga version on the back. Uh... Where's my cassette? Wow, there's a lot of stuff in this box. Uh, does it matter? Yes, side A and not the rewound. Of course not. Oh, it's made by Activision. Okay. Nice little uh, manual. What's this? Activation uh, Commodore competition. Free competition. Isn't competition always supposed to be free? Play at twice the speed of sound. The ultimate flying experience. Okay, cool. And yeah, I think that has passed. <laughs> and I think this is a, a poster, right? It was... Uh, yep. Well, kind of. Weird kind of poster. It's a long poster. Off the burner. But still, you know, kind of cool. Kind of need those extras back in the day. Uh, this was probably one of our more expensive games that we got. And yeah, usually they put like real lovely screenshots on there. Or oh, it does at least say that it's from the ST version. And the Amiga version on the left. They look very close to each other, the Amiga and the ST version. Uh, which is not always the case. Anything in the manual we need to know about? I don't remember if this was the great version. Probably not. I mean, there's so much. There's only so much you can do uh, on the C64, and the afterburner experience is so high speed that I doubt you could make a excellent version of that on the system. And I have not tried this in uh, probably 30 years as well. And it was not one of my favorite games. Set up, connect the things. Do you guys remember that uh, those afterburner cabinets in the arcade that went... Uh, all bouncy and stuff and it, those things were awesome but they most have cost a fortune uh, and they could also not feel awesome if you are susceptible to uh, motion sickness because they those things went went real nuts but I loved it uh, if you if you kind of like roller coasters that stuff was great yeah uh, such amazing arcade cabinets. Sega really did well with their uh, vehicle arcade cabinets in general. Like also the um, uh, the motorcycles. Uh, what's it called? What, dang it! Um, not outrun, but the cycle ones. How am I forgetting this? Um, 
You know the ones, but those were also really cool. How am I not remembering? Hang on, there we go. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, I got it. Yeah, and then the you had you could play uh, hang on like multiplayer with four players. Those were extremely fun. It's a bunch of uh, only instruction on how to actually set up your Commodore sixty four. That's like loading difficulties. Uh huh. Just kick it. Afterburner options. Once afterburner is loaded, you'll see several presentation screens. Pressing any key during the sequence will take you to the menu page, listing your available gameplay options. You may now select from your options. Describe below which vary depending upon the version of Afterburner that you are playing. I, I feel that sentence could have been condensed in just a few words. And I did not actually get to the controls, but you know, it's Afterburner, how hard can it be? Is in the bottom left your amount of lives? It's six lives, it's a bit of a weird number. Uh, music sounds good, so let's keep the music. Well, it's more fluid than I would have imagined. Oh, and there's auto fire, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, um, uh, to line up your shots here, I find. And if those things on the bottom are supposed to be trees, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, no, the arcade, uh, the arcade version has a few things, <laughs> but this does not translate well here. Yeah, but it's blue cabbages. <laughs> and uh, and the ship we started off was right in top of the field. It's also I don't know. <laughs> you really needed to use your imagination back then. Man, this is uh, I don't see their shots coming at all. I guess that's why you get six lives. Like how this looks, I imagine that this was also possible on the spectrum. I got zero bonus points. Did I hit nothing? How did I hit nothing? Is it? Is this a multi-load game? On the other hand, on the top it says hit 17. Yeah, it is. It is running, but it doesn't seem to be loading. It doesn't seem to be loading. Let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> all my hits are gone. Uh, it, 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 it feels more fluid than I was expecting, but at the same time the controls, they, it's like if you press diagonally to, to the top right, it all goes like, there's nothing in between, it's not analog, it's like point you're there. It's, you can't really fine-tune your movements at all. Which I guess the arcade also kinda had. I mean, it is a very frantic game, but... 
Um, doesn't feel great here. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Not sure if it's loading. Maybe I would have... What I did not do was uh, stop the tape once it has loaded. I should have probably stopped it. Yeah, it's a tape access, but nothing's happening. And the, the first part of the loading sequence did have the different colors. So what I think happened is that whilst I was playing, the tape was still running. So it went past the point where it needs to load from. Uh, usually games do stop the tape though, once they have loaded. Or at least give you the message, please stop the tape now. And if it doesn't want to work, we'll just go to another game. We've got plenty. But uh, we'll be good for another chance. I do have a disk drive. Um, but I don't have it at hand. But I do have some disks that need testing as well. So uh, we'll get to that one uh, eventually. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I need to... Um, uh, to find that thing first because it's probably somewhere you know how it goes in the, in in the back at the bottom of the pile of uh, the collection which is slowly being uh, brought over to my house here uh, so far I have my CDI collection mostly uh, be a steel collection I think most of it And already the, the little cabinets that I had for it are already full. Only from those two for games. Damn it. <laughs> and I uh, I have pretty much all of the uh, uh, of my Commodore 64 collection. No, I don't have that many Commodore 64 discs uh, here. So I won't, uh, I won't, I won't be topping you. I don't think, Wouter. No, uh, not hundreds of discs. Only a couple. I think about maybe 30, 40, something like that. Is what I have. Now, if we're talking Amiga, then I have a whole ton of uh, discs. And uh, yeah, you're right. Just the ability to save. Uh, the save of your of your characters and such in something like uh, the Bard Steel that is such an amazing thing with the discs. Yeah, uh, it's kind of weird because uh, occasionally I go on Mark Plats to see if I can uh, pick up. Like a, a lot of some tapes to go through, like on these streams, for example, because it's kind of fun. Uh, I shouldn't, because I should actually get rid of my Commodore 64 tapes, but uh, it's just fun. But the prices people ask for that stuff now, it's nuts. Like you have uh, just five tapes full with pirated software for the Commodore 64, just their own tapes, and you're like, uh, and, they, and they want like 20 bucks for it, like what? <laughs> I uh the the person I uh for my anatomy uh training um here in the Erasmus uh, uh hospital he had a story that he for his anatomy like they've got all these pieces of humans you know so they once went to Belgium and when there were still the controls there uh, yeah, try explain that one when there is a human head in there <laughs> in your trunk. <laughs> I mean, you can, but <laughs> yeah, a bunch of pieces with him. Uh, 
And for conventions, apparently, they uh, for some reason the Erasmus here is kind of a pioneer on that stuff, where they have the um, like those courses. So when they go outside and they bring over the the, the teachers, they also, of course, need to bring some materials with them. <laughs> Man, the smell in that place is not nice, by the way. Holy crap. And not because of dead people, it's because of the stuff they use to keep it fresh. Ah, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's not nice. That's uh, always sad to hear. Uh... <laughs> It's important that we get bodies for research, but I'm sure that there's a lot of stuff happening to those bodies that we uh, rather not know about. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of... Imagining that this was a port of the Spectrum version because every sprite also seems to have a bounding box of color. Like look at the bullets, when it's in the dark blue it still has the uh, light blue of the top around it. And also for the missiles of the enemies. Oh, and I forgot again. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Should I rewind it a bit now? I don't know. I don't know if it went. I don't know. It says hits. Uh, 33? Is that 33? And I do have some score. Hit count zero. Screw you, game. I'll hit that count zero. And now... Let's just see what happens if we let it go for a bit. Yeah, and there is score, there is hits 35. So I'm not sure what uh, what that's about. The hit count and the bonus points. Uh, this seems a bit easier than the arcade version. Yeah. Yeah, I think I shot down 35 what's on top there, but why... why this bonus screen doesn't say so. I don't know. It's uh, it's biased. <laughs> uh, also appears that this game does have limited missiles, like at the at the bottom. Yeah, I'm not sure what's uh, what's happening here because it should just do something. For the loading but it's doing nothing at all and maybe because i did not stop the tape again there we go yeah i think so that must be when it's loaded you must stop the tape manually that must be it and there we went <laughs> yeah but that must be the problem then Well, for next time. Because uh, who knows what we get now. It just gets to the same part again and then stops, I guess. <laughs> because this, this can't end well. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's see, what other games do I have here? What did I pull from the shelves? Here's a classic. The uh, first karate. Right, there we go. Got a bit of a glare there. Karate. Uh, which... Uh... I don't remember, this was not one of our tapes. Is that sticker on the... On the box art? It's weird. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's atypical. Like, normally they put it on the, uh, the outside like this, but nope, this, uh, this sticker is actually on the box art itself. Are we working? No, I guess not. <laughs> oh well. Just rewind. And I will check out karate here. Uh, well, it's actually karate in every custom. Yes, because the manual is for Twister. We have moved. System freeze. Uh, movement uh, uh, move letter in there as well <laughs> did system free get dissolved into a bigger company i don't actually know or did they just uh, go belly up what's this i can't read that someone wrote something on the back maybe they put an extra game on the back Nice, no, just the name, I think. I don't know. I I I can't read it. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Need to rewind it. Sounds like uh. Person was much like me, play the game, put it back. Don't need to rewind it. Coming soon, the last ninja. Well, we played the last ninja last time as well. Well, play. I showed that it loaded correctly. I wouldn't call it playing. And we did play uh, uh, International Karate Plus before, which this is, I think, a predecessor of, right? That's German. International Karate. I'm not actually sure what they added for the Plus version, though. International Karate is a simulation game where one I should use the other thing. I keep forgetting, so used to it. But this thing uh, works quite well so far, actually. And I'm uh, kind of glad I found it. Uh, International Karate is a simulation game where one or two people can comp against each other or play the computer depending on your level of skill you will fly around the world to eight different international locations you will also have to complete in two special rounds dodging various weapons and smashing a stack of tiles with your head <laughs> at all stages of the game you will be watched over by a wise old man, on a judge, <laughs> who will make decisions and inst 
instruct, instruct you accordingly. As you fight your way up through the various levels, you will be awarded a new color. A high uh, and high achievers can enter the initials into the Hall of Fame, as well as the fights sound F's what competitors can listen uh, to the orient oriental background music it should be an X there then right yeah but it is an S sound uh, sound FS <laughs> players don't have to read all the rules as they can be learned very easily just by playing the game <laughs> Love to read that, that's for sure. Game controls. F1 is to start, that's interesting. And good to keep in mind. F7 or F5 is for the audio. And 7 for the music. Alright. Alright. Some Rob Hubbard, always something you want to see in your Commodore 64 games. Yeah, they did. Uh, System Free did, uh, did hit some really, really good games right out of the park. Hey there, Mystic Furge. How are you? I hope your power is, uh, situation is uh, good at the moment. And that you are not left in the dark too much. It's kind of an interesting case. I don't... I, I, I barely have any of these kind of cases um, for the cassette games. They're kind of neat. I think I have a few for the Atari... Uh, eight bit control uh, computers, but for the Commodore sixty four, I never seen these much. But there's more weird boxes for the Commodore sixty four. There weren't really any standards then, uh, so eh. Wow, uh, after 40 hours, that takes, uh, that is so long, man. Um, but it was not continuously off, right? You did have some power now and then. Yeah, as I, as I told uh, you on, on Discord before, I'm so happy we have very boring weather here, so we don't have to deal with crap like that. Uh, no Dave, I had not seen that documentary. It sounds really cool. I will need to uh, need to check that out. Is that available on YouTube? Ah, it crashed. What? Man. Yeah, the worst we have to worry about is floodings, I guess. I mean, uh, uh, my area here is like six meters below sea level. <laughs> so if, if the dikes go, then, uh, you know, not a big problem for me still because I live on the 14th floor. But that's about the worst thing that can happen uh, in this area. Which is really bad, you know, if the if, if things really start to flood. Okay, buddy, you can do that over again. Because I do want to play with some karate, because it's a cool game. Ah, thank you for the link. I shall put that aside and check that out later for sure. 
There we go. Yeah, so you know, if 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 things go wrong, I'll just uh, tie a dinghy to my balcony, and we're fine. <laughs> Yeah, we have in the Netherlands, we also have some uh, reclaimed land, or just claimed land, I suppose. I think there's actually serious plans, um, although it's never going to work, just because that is a international disaster waiting to happen. But they had serious plans uh, worked out for uh, laying dry most of the North Sea, so that the Netherlands and England would have a lot more land to their disposal. Again, this is never going to happen, but just that some people went uh, set out a way to actually do it is kind of hilarious to me. <laughs> and there is actually a, uh, uh, a CDI Unfortunately, it is Dutch, but it, it, it goes into great detail in the fight against water in the Netherlands. And it also shows you uh, the different tactics that we have used to get some land out of places that were uh, a bit soggy, to say the least. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, there were some some plans of that North Sea just to give us uh, some more plants. Uh, our beaches are sandy. <laughs> They're actually quite nice. It's just that the like the weather is is not often that great that you will want to be there. But otherwise, our beaches are priced pretty nice. Pretty cool to, uh, and yeah, it does have brown water. It's not like the deep blue sea that you see uh, more southly. And there's also let's uh, not not that much dangerous stuff swimming in there. Uh, I think the most dangerous thing you will encounter in our waters is the jelly, which is not fun if they latch onto your leg, I guess, or you step on them. Uh, but, you know, that little irritation is done after a half an hour. Uh, that's true, a lot, a lot of German tourists. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. and, and good fish, fish places, you know, if you go to Scheveningen. Man, they have some really lovely restaurants there. You'll be paying for it too, unfortunately, but, yeah. Yeah, seagulls are the worst. Uh, seagulls can be a bit of a pain in the ass here. Uh, if if an area has not uh, no underground containers for um, for the trash, like no, most places now they have underground uh, trash disposal. But if it's not and they just put trash outside, man, the seagulls be coming. <laughs> And then everything will be under the trash in no time. Yeah, mine from from uh, Finding Nemo, right? <laughs> I love those seagulls. Mine, mine. Yeah, that, that was a stereotype that uh, that totally fits with those uh, those little bastards. Man, that's a shame. That's some good eating. I love herring. I guess that's what you get when you eat raw fish. Well. On the other hand, seagulls, they aren't picky, they, they eat everything. <laughs> and uh, in 
in Amsterdam they uh, they have the pigeons. If you go there, then they will uh, they will literally go sit on your head because you might have bread. <laughs> Which is all fun and games until they uh, they go they decide to go to the shit on your head. Yeah, sky rats indeed, and especially those in Amsterdam, they are not shy. They uh, they just come and demand their food. And whenever the one comes uh, on here, on the balcony, on the railing, Griso will have a fit. He goes all weird. There we go, now it worked. So uh, first we're off to Sydney then. Let's see, I think I need to put the controller... Oh no, what? F1 was the uh, start, right? Nope, I still need to push it in the other port. Port 2 is, generally speaking, the... It was nice of him to kind of wait. Oh look, I, 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 I managed to find the button to turn around. How did I do that? Okay, this is gonna take a while to figure out what all the moves are. Uh, I think this is also where you press down the button. But how do I turn around? Ah, there we go. Oh, I did not want to do that. <laughs> Don't jump over him. Kick him in the face. Oh, right in the bollocks. <laughs> I did not want to turn around, man. Good thing the manual says, you don't need to know the rules. You can figure it out yourself. Huh, I am a world champion. Uh, I think, uh, indeed, uh, I think it was you, Dave, who said it, like in the International Karate Plus version, there's actually three Karates uh, going at it. I went straight through him, man. Look at that. Oh, I blocked. Yeah, for real. Wait, what? Oh, time. How? It went straight through him. Oh, no. <laughs> I just don't know how to control this correctly. Uh, because you've got eight directions and they all do something different. I'm just gonna spam this and it's just down without pressing the button. Come here, you. <laughs> Look at me, I found a cheap way. Ah. Uh, I think by pressing the button and then going the other way. What did he do with his hand? <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, this uh, I found. I found. Uh, I found the win button. Maybe. Maybe. Or not? There we go. Oh, you need to hit him in the foot, I think. Yeah, not like that. This. Yeah. Need to have to get the right range there. Cool. See if we can find another. I know in International Karate uh, uh, Plus I could get to. Uh, I think my best was like the brown belt. But yeah, it took me a while to just get these controls down. And I guess if you if you can get good at it, and you know you you know what you're doing, it actually feels really good. But it takes a long while to actually get there. Oh yeah, we uh, we break some blocks. How the hell do I do that? I think I just broke his head. <laughs> well, off to New York. Uh, now come to turn around. Oh yeah, no. What the heck? Oh, I found out how to turn. Oh, it's the diagonal. You need to turn with the diagonal. It's the diagonal up forward. Wait, what happened? Oh. Yeah, this, this game can be pretty rewarding, I think, if you know how to do. What What's it to slow down? I did a punchy thing! Oh, look at me. Why did Red win? Oh, well, he, he had a point X, okay. Uh, but yeah, interesting. Nice to see the predecessor. Uh, I don't think actually in International Karate Plus, does the scene actually change there? I don't think it does. So that's one thing that this one has over the second game. Uh, wasn't there, was that uh, the game from Data East? Because the way of the exploding fist kind of make me think about, uh, um, what's the name? Dang it. Me and names, man. Hey there, Erwin. How are you today? Hope all is well. Oh, it was, um... I think there was like a, a, a dispute over... Was it then Black Belt, the other game? The Karate game? There were two games that were really fighting over who came with it, up with it first. But yeah, this one uh, works fine. Or was it Grand Masters? I don't know. I don't remember. 
both switch uh, twitch <laughs> twitch and youtube should hopefully work this time around well they usually do but uh, this is the first time that i try to this is the first time i try to stream directly to both Uh, let's see, what do we have, what do we have, what do we have, what do we have, what's this? Well, let's keep fighting, I guess. Uh, Bangkok Knights. Uh, yeah, normally I had to restream, oh, that's two tapes, holy crap. No, you can't get monetized on Twitch if you go uh, stream on both, but phew, I don't really care. Uh, like, uh, so far it's not really an issue anyway. Uh, because I don't have the many followers anyway, and even if I do, whatever. <laughs> uh, because... This is cassette too. Because Twitch uh, wants to place so many ads on there, I don't want my streams to have ads. Uh, this is tape one, side one. Uh, this is not rewound, of course, of course it's not. Uh, although this is not a game that I owned back then, this is one that I uh, picked up fairly recently actually, and it's in really super good condition, like the, the box is, like it's it says new almost, look at that. In the manual, like none of my boxes look this good. Uh, it's a boxing game. Let's see what does the back says. From the humble peasant farmers of Thailand came one of the world's and most devastating forms of combat, Thai boxing. The fastest, meanest, and most exciting full contact sport in the world of martial arts. That's what each martial arts says. In this unique simulation of Mao Thai, Thai boxing, you must fight your way through the, through the cliff edge above your village, through the jungle and into the streets of Bangkok. Only after defeating all the streetwise opponents will you be granted the right to fight in the famous Lumpini Stadium. Am I saying that right? I hope I am. By using, <laughs> yeah, keep keep the references rolling. <laughs> uh, by using unique and innovative programming, the techniques you will uh, have to combat the largest cartoon-like animated characters ever seen, and with the action set against eight-way smooth scrolling backgrounds, eight-way really. Uh, plus state-of-the-art music and digitized sound effects. But beware, the Bangkok Knights are not known for their chivalry. They will often surprise you with uh, comical cheat moves and you might be laughing. Yeah, now I really don't know what to expect. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I think uh, I'd, maybe I will start recognizing it once it starts, but I've never played it at any rate. It's another problem. Shit. Yeah, another one for uh, for the 
with the rope man. Thank you so much for the follow, uh, Sturu, Sturoro? Am I saying that correctly? I hope so. Otherwise, I am so sorry, but uh, you will soon come to expect. Seb is so bad with names. <laughs> but thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, the future. This is also from System 3? Yes, it is. Cool. Guess they were really into fighting games back like then. And of course, Elwin, thank you so much for the follow. Now I will annoy you each time that I go live. <laughs> yeah, apparently, I guess for the different... Uh, for the different stages. <laughs> oh, I know what that is like, uh, Sturodo. Yeah, for sure. Delish also had such amazing music. Uh, especially love his deflector tune. Such a classic. Game overview. Bangkok Knights is the first in new generation of true life fighting simulations. By using larger than normal animated characters set against different panoramic backgrounds, a level of realism previously unattained can be home can be come home on the home computers. You play the part of the young up and coming Thai boxer whose uh, one desire to is to become the undisputed Bangkok Knight. To achieve this, you must pit your strength and cunning against many different opponents. In total, you must fight and hopefully defeat eight opponents. The first four fighters you encountered are on the way to the Lumpini Stadium. And you have to fight them in different locations like the Market Square or in the treacherous cliff ledge. Should be on, yes. Uh, well, another uh, composer I really enjoyed for the Commodore uh, era is uh, uh, Jeroen Tell. Also really, really cool uh, music he produced. But yeah, there was, uh, there was some, some great uh, Tunes made for the sit chip and uh, uh, what's his name? Tim Foley. Is that, the, uh, is that the correct name? Also great. I don't actually know this tune, so this is uh, this is already a really nice surprise for this one. When you have defeated the four opponents, you have. Oh, and the right to compete in the stadium. Yeah, just 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 kick the ass of four random dudes and that'll get you in. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, Erwin. Like, you just beat up some dudes who have the same objective as you. Uh, you know. Eventually, they will need to let you in because, because there's no one left. <laughs> Uh, and once there, you are matched against the toughest Bangkok Knights who will not give up their uh, hard-won title so easily. Once in the ring of the stadium, you must defeat a further four opponents in order to become the champion. I doubt we will be seeing the ring, though. Um... B.B. Butler. Let me quickly see where the controls are headed. Yeah, it's not really a... Uh, I, I'm guessing they kind of went with the root of uh, like uh, a punch out and so with the silly uh, names and potentially stereotypes too. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, F1.
All right, so F1 is one player again. F5 is for the music, that's good to know. Oh, and they, uh... It's kind of interesting, you can, they actually give you instructions on how to change the attributes for, uh, for the colors and such. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's loading or if it's uh, done loading. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of the same kind of deal as uh, Karate. So with the button pressed down, the different directions will initiate attacks and without it pressed, it will Uh, be movement. So let's see how we do here. So is the bottom bar strength? Let's try F1. Don't tell me it crashed. Oh, don't tell me it crashed, man. It sucks. There should be a title screen, I think. And it's just the last bit that it hang on, hang on. Man. Let's uh, let's try it again, I guess. Well, the game thinks it's loaded. It's... Like it did stop the tape. Uh, well, yeah. F1 is start, so that doesn't work. And space would be on pass, but it apparently is not passed. And what is pass? The Commodore key, which was uh, this one. Yeah. No, 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 I guess we need to just give it another try. Man, that is... Unfortunate. Also, nothing that indicated that it was uh, crashing at all. It loaded perfectly fine in one go. Uh, just winding it back and forth a bit. Sometimes it works, it helps. Uh, but sometimes that just feels like it's like the equivalent of blowing in your cartridge. <laughs> but come on, that also sometimes still helps. And again, this is not a game that I owned back then, so I'm not sure how this is supposed to even look once it loaded. Let's give it another try. Sometimes uh, it's just like that with Commodore 64, isn't it? Uh, let's put cassette number two away because even if it loads, I doubt we will find the need to go to the second tape. Because that would be assuming that I actually uh, get through a couple of levels. Ah, okay. So it did crash. Just, uh... Rizzo is lying here next to the keyboard, helping, snapping a quick picture there. <laughs> it's unusual that he's on this side, like he's right here. Normally he's here demanding more treats, but I uh, guess he's not feeling so well today. I mean, if Griso does not eat his treats, then he's uh, then he's sick. <laughs> nope, 
doesn't want it. Concerning. <laughs> oh well, we'll see the couple uh, in a couple of days how you're doing. You know, one or two days without food might be good for your uh, little belly there. Programmed in record time, What? how, how fast did they uh, make this one? I don't know, I, uh, I, I tend to know some composers that made magic happen with the set ch the sit chip but when it comes to actual programmers on the Commodore 64 I am not as familiar Was this here before? Don't remember if yeah this was here as well this beer is almost done as well loading is not good for you you know <laughs> you've got too much dead time I didn't even eat anything yet well I threw in some uh, some space food yeah I'm sure there were like yeah some of those those things that when I uh, when I hear those I'm like how did they ever but yeah I'm not the technically uh, advanced enough in the C64 to know much about the uh, techniques of it. I'm just the end consumer. But it's uh, it is such a different beast compared to what was available on the market. It just what people could put out of it. Oh yeah, that's into, uh, of course also an issue when the power goes out for so long, all your stuff in the fridge. Oh man. <laughs> See, it's funny that stuff never happens here, so I don't even think about it and stuff like that being able to happen. That would suck here. Now, I've got a freezer full of meats. And, uh, you know, that lasts like half a year. And if the power would go out for... 40 hours then uh oi that's some barbecue I need to throw then <laughs> although Griso would surely be happy to help with many of those things and Going back to the SID chip, I'm not, I'm not sure how uh, how hard it is to actually program for the chip, SID chip, but the amount of good quality music on it is just astounding. Uh, if you compare it to the Mega Drive or Genesis, for example, you can get great music out of it, but many composers did not know how to work that system properly and then you have the, the, this crunchy uh, well typical Mega Drive sound that just in comparison doesn't sound that great but you also have examples where you know Streets of Rage 2 uh, sounds absolutely amazing you can make good music in that but with Commodore 64 it, it, it seems from this Idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about. It it looks like it was a bit easier to make good music on it. Yeah, I, I like to buy in bulk, so you know, big packets and them. Nope, it still does this. Man, that is real fortunate. Maybe I should no, because it did stop the tape, so it 
is not loading anymore. Right? Nope, it's stuck. It's not loading. Yeah, I guess this one is not working. Man, that is... that is sad. That is sad. Um, what time is it? Okay, yeah, I have one more collection box here, but uh, there's no time to go through those. Uh, but, uh, speaking of kind of impressive why would you games, where I will not get four in. I have another two loose tapes over here. Man, I'm kind of disappointed this one messed up. Looking forward to that. Uh, just because it's, you know, a game you don't really know. It's always exciting to play the newer games, right? That you don't know. Unfortunately, need to check that out some more, but uh, yeah, here is uh, Mercenary, which I think originally, this, didn't this first come on the Amiga? If it's the game that I am thinking of. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see. This is also another game I'm... I'm super familiar with. Oh, the, the weirdest game in the world. Oh, that... Promises a lot. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, isn't this kind of a open world, uh, very early open world game? Oh, it was the first for the uh, Commodore 64. Man, that is super ambitious. Escape from Tark. Mercenary. Is a... Uh, Mercenary is a unique combination of flight simulation, adventure and arcade. Boom. Oh nice, it has the, the loading sound. Awesome. There we go. Well, we uh, have to do without... Uh, We have to go without Rob Hubbard for this one, unfortunately, but uh, by the sounds of it, we will make up for it in the, par in the department of programming here. <laughs> uh, with uh, Paul Wokes, yeah, I, that name doesn't ring a bell, but again, when it comes to programmers, I don't really know. Uh, anyway, Mercenary is a unique combination of flight simulation, adventure and arcade fun in stunning high-speed three-dimensional vector graphics. You take the role of a 21st century soldier of fortune, crash landed on the uh, strife-formed planet Tark. You use your wits to, uh, to acquire the means to survive and prosper. Fly above the planet in a variety of craft, search the mysterious subterranean complexes, and become enthralled, embroiled in the continuing conflict between the Palyars and the usurper Mechanoids. A complete new world has been created for you to explore, where all is not as it seems. 
many objects can be moved under your control and relocated at will. You only have one true friend, the ever reliable Benson, an almost human PC who guides you in this absorbing quest. Ah, come on! What's what 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 what, what gifts, guys? What's with all the crashing today? <laughs> Uh, I never heard about the expansion or sequel to it at all. Uh, that's pretty cool. Was that also on the Commodore 64 then? Let's give it another try. Lisa, what are you doing? Did you actually... I actually eat something. Uh, something fell again. Do you want your old treat now as well? Ow! <laughs> Let's uh, give it another try here. And uh, Grizzer seems to be back to his old greedy self. It's kind of reassuring. It's getting a bit worried there. Uh, well, let's hope it runs now. That fell. Oh, <clears throat> the box fell. How hard is this going to be to control? Is my question now. <laughs> oh, it's easy to control. That's good to know. Uh, because I have uh, plenty of those microprose uh, games as well, which we will get to at some point, but uh, I also need the disc drive to check those, you know, might as well check the cassette and the disc, because they yeah, had uh, both. Uh, but those games are, are not easy. They all came with uh, giant layouts. Yeah, we're probably not going to escape this uh, this 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 planet, I'm afraid. But uh, would we try? Yeah, just such a sandbox type of game on C64 at that time, 1985. That's just nuts. Elite Dangerous, yeah, Elite was kind of like that. Uh, although, you know, space is a bit more empty to simulate than kind of land and buildings and such. Although, you know, not taken away from Elite because Elite was also a milestone of a game. Uh, which originally came to the BBC Micro, I think. No, you were always bound in, to your ship, uh, I think, in Elite. Uh, it's also a NES version for Elite, which is... Uh, like, unique. I don't think Elite on NES did, did well at all, but... It is still a very good port indeed. Um, but you rarely hear someone mention that because, well, it's not Mario, I guess. <laughs> to make it work as well as it does, it is a technical achievement for sure. Uh, controls. Controls. 
control panel L is for elevation speed for speed this is what the screen looks like I guess oh we're here uh, YouTube is great for just learning about new games or media in general uh, that you miss and stuff you've never heard about checking when are we crashing Here we go. <laughs> it didn't take long. Of course, just as I pick up the joystick, we crash. Mm, I think I need to uh, set my transform for the source a bit better because that uh, planet did not look round it looked like an egg <laughs> so it's the round bits that uh, make that most apparent you crashed It even has like the, I mean, small details, but like the, the little crazy speech thing uh, that you also hear in some of the Nintendo games when people talk, you have the, these weird sounds. It sounds exactly the same here. Kind of cool. 5,000 credits. Oh, we already have 4,000. Oh, okay. Or was that 9,000? Do we want to buy? Uh, do I need to press yes? Yes, yes. Is this sensible? Do you want to buy? I'm pressing the Y, but that, that doesn't work yet. Is that it crafted for sale? You must be crazy. I can just walk through it, but... Uh... But yeah, look at this. This is just a 3D open world in the Commodore 64. That is insane. And it runs kind of smooth. Like, sure, it's not 60 FPS or something, but you know, who would have, <laughs> who would have expected that? But it's still pretty smooth. I don't know where I'm supposed to go yet, though. No clue where the heck I'm going, so I'm just gonna wander around. Maybe should have tried better to actually buy that craft. <laughs> yeah, but how do I buy the ship? Let's see if we can initiate that again.
so here we are uh, good night Erin thank you so much for uh, for joining us it was great having you hope you have a great remainder of the of the of the weekend from whatever left of it <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know how to do the things like is this the ship that you can buy or is it the other thing nothing works space bar nope um but how e no he doesn't work either let me just quickly get the manual here see if we can uh, find the exact buttons because before you know it you hit the wrong one uh, instructions controls yeah When walking forward backward yeah that's just movement oh B B for boarding uh, not working yet Or do I need to go to that other one there? Because I don't know which which one was the hours. Which one was... One of these things is bound to be our crash plane. Well, this, this one doesn't look like it's going to fly anymore. Uh, I don't know how to enter the plane. I should have bought it, but I couldn't buy it. <laughs> I tried the, the Y, but I didn't do it. And then I walked away, and I think we're walking away. Did I lock myself out of the opportunity? Uh, is the game like, well, if you choose to walk, then go walk. Screw you. I for interact, no. Uh, C for co commerce. <laughs> nope. Any other buttons that makes use of? To leave? Plus L. See about communication is here their part here so maybe we, we, I I couldn't I tried the Y button but it didn't do anything. Um, with friends in communication mode, you may be asked to respond. Uh, indicated in the question mark question mark following text press Y. I tried to respond yes, otherwise no will be assumed. Any other required keyboard entries will be detailed by. Brennan. Mm -hmm. T for take, D for drop.
and we can with control Q get out of the simulation oh on the back I should have just watched <laughs> there's, there's a nice overview of all the things what's the power level for Let's uh, let's try Control Q then. Uh, where's the Control key here again? Control Q. Not working. Why not working? Why you not work? Is there something maybe wrong with my keyboard? Is that why? The Y thing did not work. Yeah, I don't want to load it again. And we can't seem to communicate at all anymore now that it's... Man, this sucks. <laughs> I screwed up. Um... There's no other control, right? No. Oh, it is! Good call, Wouter. Yeah, that... That explains everything, doesn't it? That's why the Y didn't work. Yeah, man. I'm afraid that's not even the first time that happened to me either. Whoa, 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 whoa what happened? Ship destroyed. Well, that went fast. I was flying, man. Let's, let's restart again, I guess. Uh, I don't know how to control the ship, though. Let's shoot. Let's not shoot stuff. I think space was pass. No, on the back here, what does it say? Sp yes, yeah, space is stop. There's power. There's leaf vehicle. How do you speed up? Is it just the speed? Oh yeah, 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 okay, okay, the power is speed. There we go. Okay, finally. Yeah, so the different numbers give you speed. You seem to be able to go. What's that? Uh, also, how do you land? <laughs> I mean, I know one way of going down, but. Is that the building here? I think we... 
Like, is it something important or not? I don't know. Oh, it's a location. Uh Yeah, because you have to carry things around. Not sure if that's anything we need there. Man, this... You know, now that we actually go flying. Okay, Alt is four now, three. Oh wait, no, there's a six there. <laughs> Can he actually land without crashing? I don't know. Uh, what was the exit button again? We're not at zero. Oh, okay. No, L for leave. <laughs> there we ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it takes a while to get to Grizzle with the controls, but honestly, they are not that complicated. So what's this then? Still nothing that we actually need to come... No. It's nothing. Is this like the starting area again? Did I just go the same way where we came from? Uh, the big triangle here, let's try. Should it also be with the B for board? It sounds a bit weird. Hmm. Let's, let's try B. Mm, no. Or E for elevator. No. Also nothing. I guess we need to find a different building, but... Yeah, it's one of those games that you just need to f figure out and just explore stuff. I'm just super amazed in how well, this actually works. There we go, now we're having uh, some, some speed here. So it looks like it's uh, the land is kind of grid based? Are those supposed to be roads?
Yeah, maybe not, but then again, for C64, it is still highly impressive, I find. How fast can we go? I guess that's the fastest. Ah, okay, so I'm, uh, I'm too high now for actually seeing the buildings. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> that was close. Uh, so that looks like a building, I guess. to leave yeah I don't think we can get in here either it's just an arc to fly under and be all fancy like uh, e no also nothing hmm yeah <laughs> I just don't know where to go yet um, but again I'm just super impressed with the game itself and it works Go up. Go up. Why don't you want to go up? There we go. Uh, that's the start again, I think. Holy crap. What's that white spot over there? Or is it like the sun? Yeah, I don't think that is actually something. Ah, that's a space station. Interesting. Want to actually uh, get off of the planet. we get in here then <laughs> like, I, I also don't know yet uh, oh wait L uh, I own, don't know yet what a building actually looks like B or E Uh, yeah, but what does an elevator look like? I'm not sure what to actually look for yet. Like, I, I, we're now at this pyramid kind of thing. But I don't know what it is. Supposed to be a mountain? <laughs> Let's see if we can find one. That's something, maybe? No, this is another bridge. Another bridge? Ooh. Yeah, for real, huh? Like, what's that? Is, is that a building?
So this this is not it either. Looks like it could have an elevator. <laughs> I can really see how this uh, back in the day would have you know captivated you. Uh, leave. Go into the thing here. And then uh, do a C or a B or E. No, also not here, I'm afraid. <laughs> I can't find the freaking building. Keep it nice and low. What's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, you maybe, but my version here does not have that. Like, uh, I only have the small manual here, and then that's it. So maybe there was a, uh, a hint manual at some point, but uh, it has been removed. ARC64 Television, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so yeah, is, is, is this an elevator? That doesn't look like an elevator at all. That doesn't look like an elevator. I mean... Mm. No. Has to be somewhere else. Uh, zero nine zero six. Let's see. Uh, I'm going opposite way now. Great, great, great. Let's turn around. Compass will be nice, I guess. Oh wait, there is a compass, right? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Was it zero zero nine zero six? Uh, oh man, me a navigation. Where's the six? There's the six. That must be it, right? Now to not crash too more highly. There we go. 
All right, cool. Let's uh, let's check this out, and uh, after that we should be done here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think I do want to check out a, maybe an LP of this game because it looks super super interesting. Uh, elevators E, I think, right? Yes. And here we are in the underground caverns. Already got three ways. Awesome. It's a bit jarring. Locked. Of course, I had to find a locked door. Uh, so this brings me to the beginning, I think. This is also like super smooth. The um, like it's 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 very un 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 uncomplicated, I guess. But like the movement in here is 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 just smooth. What's this? Uh, a health pack? Something? Don't need that. Don't know if you can even die in this game. Also, don't know anymore how you should. Oh, take. Yeah, that makes sense. Take. T take D drop. You take. Oh, there we go. Medical supplies. I think you can only hold one item, no doubt. where we're going wow it's a long corridor holy crap it is a corridor right it's not just nope it is a corridor wow that's a long corridor man with one random door and the one door has nothing it's a little hidey hole for if you're too scared of the big hallway all right so is this a dead end i mean that would uh, that would be funny huh It's also one of those games that kind of requires you to draw your own map, I suppose. What's that? It's very dark here, so probably need a torch for this one how do you get out now <laughs> now I need to just touch oh crap I moved forward and now I don't know where the door is <laughs> oh dear well I think we've seen uh, seen enough of the game for now uh, yeah I, I I should I should be used to this <laughs> let's see what time of the uh, it's it's uh, half past 11 anyway so I think it will be a good time to actually um, uh, stop here for now uh, because I got myself stuck once again awesome uh, but yeah highly impressive game highly impressive game and uh, let's see if uh, Riso would like a more, some more treats again. I mean, he was having some now, so I, I, I imagine he'll be okay with some more. And uh, yeah, there was a, a good bunch of games. Shame not all of them worked, unfortunately, but most of them still did. And 
we'll try more later on next week um, and on Wednesday we might continue with chips challenge but I'm not sure if I can actually make it because on Wednesday is also voting day here in the Netherlands and then uh, my parents will come over to uh, have dinner as well so I'm not sure if I will be in time to actually do a stream uh, so maybe on Wednesday and otherwise on uh, Friday uh, and perhaps also tomorrow and Tuesday to actually work on the collection but uh, we'll see oh, voting is not a holiday here <laughs> but <laughs> it's not a holiday here but uh, it's just something that I tend to do with my parents together and then we uh, just uh, have, have dinner together uh, but my mother comes from uh, out of her work, so you know it's not a holiday. <laughs> uh, the sad truth is that uh, probably the what do you call it in English? The amount of people that come is probably only around thirty percent for these uh, kind of votings, uh, which is not a whole lot, unfortunately. But oh well. On the other side. You know, we we like to pride ourselves on our um, on our freedoms that we have that we have gotten, and you know, freedom to not vote is also a freedom that uh, that's there. So that's good because some people, you know, I can kind of imagine that you just lost your. Um, uh, what's it called? Trust? Not really what I wanted to call it, but uh, yeah, I, I can see how people have lost their... Um, seeing it as a meaningless thing and not vote. And yeah, as Wouter says, this is a provincial vote, so it's not as important as the, um, uh, the main votes for the government. Still, it's also... Yeah, I agree. It's worth going. Uh, also, because what is the Dutch equivalent as the uh, U.S. Senate is chosen through the provinces, and um, so there's no direct voting from the, the us, the citizens. Uh, but depending on our votes now, we will vote in power those who are voting to the Senate. If that makes sense, it probably doesn't. <laughs> no, the parliament uh, is, is different. There we do have direct vote over. Um, so we have what's called a first chamber and a second chamber, where the second chamber is like the parliament, and the first chamber is the senate. I think that, that are those are the comparisons with the US, um, at least. Are you, you're a cat. You're supposed to just dump your face in there. <laughs> He's, uh, he's really off today. Anyway, guys, uh, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching again. And hope you really enjoyed it. And I hope to have a video ready finally somewhere this week. Uh, I'm not going to say anymore which day. Uh, but yeah, I, I will try my best to get it ready soon enough. And I hope to see you guys soon again in a um, new stream. Or in one of your videos, of course. Uh, yeah, it would be great to see you stream again, uh, Mystic Figurage. Uh, and I'm sorry, Wouter, that I missed your stream. I saw it come up. Uh, but I, yeah, on Saturday, I always have my parents over for dinner. Uh, so I couldn't make it. But there's always next time, of course. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a, a great remainder of this weekend, as little as there is left of it. And until next time, take care. The muscle. Oh no, it's not working. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Here we go, the muscle. It's still not working. What the heck? Why doesn't it work? Oh well, let me just do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> it's today, yeah, today. And stream. I should just do that in... Uh, 
like voice commands that's possible too anyway here's the here's the mouse clicky to end it for real bye guys thank you so much again